Paul Nelly said he'll come out probably 94 to 96. Can he maintain that velocity? There is nothing more frustrating while in the batter's box than taking a shot fastball right down the heart of the plate, or chasing a pitch down in the dirt for strike three and having to run to first base like a dressed up out. Nothing. And I can promise you, when this happens, it probably has nothing to do with your swing mechanics or your natural abilities. The issue is your approach, your timing, and your vision skills. Welcome to Applied Vision Baseball. Here is where you will learn how to increase your pitch selection and learn to recognize pitches that you can make hard, consistent contact on while lowering your chase rate on pitches out of the zone and decreasing freezing on pitches that are over the heart of the plate. First off, the Applied Vision Baseball app can be used on pretty much any device, iOS, iPad, desktop, laptop, Apple screen share, TV, HDMI, as well as our VR and our VR headset and iOS native app. When you log into the web-based app, you will see that you have access to other bonuses that come for free with your vision training membership. So what are the main concepts that the Applied Vision Baseball vision training program is based on? Pitch selection, pitch preparedness, pitch recognition, predictive skills, and most importantly, timing. These are skill sets that can be learned in the following main vision drills. The post-up drill, the swing trigger drill, and the pitch path prediction drill. So let's break each down. The post-up drill, we're seeing more strikeouts in Major League Baseball than at any point in the history of the game. Why? In many ways, pitchers are adjusting by elevating the fastball. So we're seeing record high pop-ups and hitters getting cheated by high velocity. One possible solution to this problem is being aggressive on strikes up in the strike zone. When you're sitting on a fastball, I want you to look for the letter high fastball because it's going to be easier for you to look up here and adjust to the knee high rather than look for the knee high. And now the pitcher elevates us now because launch angle stuff and we're underneath it. I believe that if we're sitting knee high, it's like I said, and now he elevates you. This is why we can't hit the fa high fastball. I remember watching TV all the time on baseball games and hear the announcers like, oh, he can't catch up to the high fastball at 95. I could. You know why? Because I'd look for it. When you're sitting on a fastball, look for the high fastball. If it's easy to, be to look up here and adjust to the knee high, then it will be to look for the knee high, and then he elevates you, now we're underneath it. Here's why it's effective. Ever since a pitcher is nine years old, what are they taught to do? Keep the ball down. Why? Because a pitch up in the zone is an easier pitch to hit. That's why they call mistake pitches up in the zone a mistake pitch. This is why some of the furthest balls you will ever hit are the chest high fastball and hanging breaking ball. A breaking ball that starts down in the zone, below the hitter's waist, will end up below the strike zone or in the dirt at point of contact. A breaking ball that starts up in the zone, at or above the hitter's waist, will be in the strike zone at point of contact. This is why to increase plate discipline and to avoid chasing pitches in the dirt, we post up. We look for pitches up in the zone to attack. From here, we can sit dead red on anything up in the zone, adjusting to breaking balls that are strikes instead of chasing breaking balls that end up as balls in the dirt. The same way we look away and adjust in is the same way we can look up and then adjust down. Swing trigger drill. It happens to every hitter. We take the fastball right down the middle of the plate. We can't seem to pull the trigger. We're like a deer in the headlights, frozen and unable to take the bat off the shoulder. Why? Because we don't have our finger on the swing trigger. The hitter's mentality needs to be, it's a strike until it's not. In other words, the hitter has to assume that the next pitch is going to be a strike. The thinking needs to be yes, yes, no on a ball, yes, yes, go on a strike. This is how you keep your finger on the swing trigger. The pitch path prediction drill. So when a hitter is seeing the ball well, when their tracking abilities make the ball look like a balloon, and when they're focused, present, and on time on every pitch, recognizing the spin speed and location, they are demonstrating psychotic vision skills. Psychotic vision skills are the ability to predict where a moving object is going to be. A great hitter doesn't swing at where the ball is. They are swinging at where the ball will be at point of contact. With our pitch path prediction vision training drills, hitters can begin training their ability to predict where the ball will be at point of contact. This is how we build pitch selection. This is how we lower our chase rate of balls out of the zone while being geared up and ready for strikes that we need to do damage on. So how do we apply the drills in our baseball practice routine? Many coaches and players have added our app 
as part of a station warm-up or cool-down. They pick a drill such as the post-up drill, and then they work on hitting curveballs or off-speed pitches with a live arm as one example. Others will use the VR portion as a way to work on their timing before taking live cuts in the cage. In the leaderboard section, coaches can segment their players by team abbreviation or name in the search box to see the performance of each player with their accuracy with pitch types, reaction time, as well as time trained and consecutive days trained. These vision drills aren't about replacing taking real swings with real balls with a real bat and a live arm. Nothing can replace that. Rather, these drills are here to help hitters understand the crucial approach at the plate that will help them develop confidence in hitters' IQ so that they can develop a plan to win the at-bat independent of outcome. Because in a game loaded with failure, hitters' ability to be confident and stay confident will dictate their performance at the plate. And it starts with being and staying a student of the game. Bad dumb habit.